Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we're going to take a brief step back from the world of folding knives and dive headfirst for one day into the world of pens. Yes, bolt action pens to be specific. Um, it's an EDC item that I found myself using a lot more recently. One I've really been enjoying on a lot of different levels in terms of having an extra little item to fidget with, as well as a very handy writing utensil that have held up very well and have come extremely handy for me. I found myself actually using a pen and paper now instead of going into the notes section of my iPhone. So uh, I thought I'd bring this to you guys, and I think it is a pretty valuable little EDC item that a lot of people could really benefit from but there's again a blue million pens out there um i have had one other bolt action pen besides these two it was like a Wii or civivi brand i think it was a civivi brand and it was okay it was okay but it was 27 dollars. you could feel that um you know it, it was not the most premium quality so i wanted to get a nice one so i actually picked up a couple and thought, you know what, why not review them? I didn't want to review them on separate episodes because I think that would be too much similar content. So I thought, you know what, even better, let's put them together. And then I was going to go the battle of the pens route and compare the two in that way. I found myself liking both of these so much for different reasons. I don't think it's really fair to compare the two. You can. Um, and there is one pen that I found myself using more than the other, which I will specify at the end of this video, but, uh, they're both great. So I thought instead of taking a head to head clash, we would do more of kind of just a overview and comparison of the two to see them together and get an idea of, uh, what we have here on the table and, uh, which one you may prefer going with. So with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. I've got a lot of good reviews coming up as well as some lists. And of course, that 10,000 subscriber giveaway celebration coming at you Friday or Saturday this week. Keep your eyes peeled for that. There's going to be a really, really, really nice giveaway in that. So with all that being said, let's get into this. And I'm telling you, this is the last time I'm recording this. There's been a, uh, this is like the third or fourth time I've recorded this because there's so many different ways I could have presented these pens to you guys while keeping engaging and informing and not dragging along too long. This is it. No more. No turning back from here. So let's do this. We're going to present one pen, take a look at some specs, then the other go over some specs. Then we'll talk similarities, differences, and overall thoughts. With that being said, let's start with the tactile turn. And what we have here is a pen coming in at 5.6 inches. It's very important to note that both of these pens are kind of the mid-range standard length for the brand, but they do happen to differ from each brand. So this pen right here, we have 5.6 inches, titanium material, and uh, a very, very nice detailed milling in that titanium, which is really what sets the tactile turn apart, mostly in my opinion, uh, sets it apart most from almost any other bolt action knife, especially the Bastion, which is quite the opposite in terms of milling. We have a weight of 1.3 ounces, which, you know, to be honest, I've never even really wondered about the weight of a pen, so it doesn't affect me one way or the other, but there you go, 1.3 ounces. We have a refill of a Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter, and the price is $99, and it comes with a lifetime warranty as well as they, they have some engraving options that are obviously extra. You can hop on their website to look those up, and I will, of course, have both of these pens linked below to go check out if you decide to pick one up. Um, so that is the tactile turn. We will close that up. We'll bring it to the side, and we will bring in the Bastion to talk about this guy for a little while. I'm going to try and hide my right hand here. Uh, got a little, not, not even a cut. It was kind of like a torn piece of nail slash skin, and it really hurt when it happened. So we'll just go one-handed for this one. And we were we are looking at a length on the Bastion of a 5.25 inches with a material of titanium. And the weight on this guy is a little heavier. We're looking at 1.6 ounces, which in all honesty, you do notice that. You, you, you really do notice a significant difference in weight. And I'm not saying this is heavy. I'm just simply saying this feels a little heavier than the tactile turn, which 
in all honesty, I actually prefer just a hair. I'm kind of a heavy writer. I press down hard when I write. So I, with doing that, I think the weight kind of just, it, it helps my style of writing a little. And again, I've been using both of these and enjoy both of them, but I have noticed that um, the weight does seem to help my style of writing a little for whatever that's worth. I'm sure not all of you write as hard as I do. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, but the price on this guy is also $99.99. But this guy right here, I happen to have a discount code for Bastion. That discount code is WSW15. And of course, that is going to get you 15% off this pen or any other pen you buy from the Bastion website. Um, so a pretty darn good deal there. That knocks it significantly less than the tactile turn. And this pen also comes with a lifetime warranty as well as engraving options. So there you go. Um, not too bad of a deal there. Now, let's take a look at some similarities. Obviously, looking at these two, um, there are some very not notable differences, but there are some very, very important similarities that I can't stress enough because I think one of the things that is very, uh, I don't know, I think a lot of people know about Tactile Turn. Tactile Turn um, is no secret to the pen world. I think they're a very popular brand. Um, not that Bastion isn't, but I will say I did pick up my Tactile Turn pen first because I knew of them. I, I knew of them well before Bastion. Um, so that really doesn't mean much. That really just goes to marketing and maybe how long they've been around and, you know, just how much exposure they get on social media. But didn't know about them longer. And uh, I tell you what. Tactile Turn is a brand you need to know about because they make pretty darn nice pens. Both of these pens are incredibly, incredibly durable. Of, I mean, obviously, this is no secret either. They're both made out of freaking titanium. So incredibly durable. You can drop them. You can throw them around. They're going to be fine. They're going to hold up. Um, going to be great for a very long-lasting pen. Both provide a great grip, and this was the shocker. This was the real shocker. So, um, obviously, with the milling you have on the tactile turn, the nice, detailed, uh, very pleasing feel and touch to the milling. It, it feels very good in hand. Um, I have a great grip on this pen. We're going to deploy it, and we'll just write something real quick. I'll write my name here in cursive, and yeah. I, I just, I love the way this pen feels, and the milling has a lot to do with it. Um, makes a great, great grip. Doesn't move out of my hand at all. Really like this, but this is what's crazy. There is absolutely no milling. You can see my fingerprints on this guy. No milling whatsoever on this, and the grip is exactly the same, equally as good, and no issue there. So, Zero issue with the grip. If you're worried about this uh, this slick looking surface on the Bastion, that's that's not a thing. It's not slick. Um, I don't consider this slick. It almost has like, it feels completely slick. It feels raw, but it also feels like there's some type of little something on the surface because it really does have a phenomenal grip that I have no issues with. I've used this in really cold weather when it was dry out and I've used it now as it got a little warmer out. I, I live in the Midwest, so it obviously isn't very warm here, but we got up to like a 60 something degree day one day, which is really warm for this time of year. Um, and in all temperatures, it feels fine in hand and no issues with that. Um, lastly, the quality. Um, both have fantastic quality. Obviously, very different design language going on with both of them. Um, and I would definitely say different vibes or styles if you want to really look deep into it. But at the end of the day, um, they are both fantastically made with extremely good quality, accurate milling in the bolted action areas. Um, both of the clips are extremely solid. Nothing moves, nothing wiggles. Um, extremely solid, well-built pens. Now we get into the differences. Um, and I think I've noticed an error here. The, the refills, I, the, the, the Bastion does have a different refill. I'm not sure what that is now. Um, but 
they do both in terms of the ink. Uh, the ink on the Bastion does dry faster, which for me is very nice. It's less smudging. So this, th this uh, the Tactile Turn does have the Pilot G2.7 millimeter, which is a very, very nice ink reel. If you're a righty, you probably, it's probably one of your favorite ink refills. Um, lefties, not exactly my favorite because it takes a little longer to dry and as I'm writing my hand catches it and then this area right here gets black blue red whatever colored ink is um, not the best thing in the world so the the refill in this pen does dry faster I do enjoy that so that is one difference um, the bastion is set up naturally better for lefties if you take a look here you'll see these are both set up on the same side um, but this is the only setup for the bastion this side right here, and it really does work good if you're a lefty, and it also works just as fine if you're a righty. Um, I found, I discovered after the fact of picking this one up, that they have lefty and righty options. Now I have to say a quick story about Tactile Turns customer service and give them uh, some props here. I originally got this from Knife Center. Knife Center just listed it as a bolt action pen. They did not specify it was a right-handed pen. And I didn't even know they offered a lefty version until I was doing a little research on both of these pens, went to their website and saw that I actually have a right-handed version. Knife Center didn't specify anything, so I reached out to Tactile Turn and said, hey, here's what I'm doing. I didn't know this until just now. I've got this pen. Can you guys help me out? And they were fantastic. They took the they took my right-handed pen. I sent it back to them, and they sent me back this left-handed version. Uh, very little questions asked. It was a very simple, very fast process. So the customer service for Tactile Turn is phenomenal. I have not worked with with Bastion's customer service, but I, I'm I, I'm willing to bet. Um, it's right up there because you have to match your competition if you want to be successful. So um, can't personally speak on behalf of Bastion, but Tactile Turn did take care of me. And I think it's very important for people to know that. So thank you, Tactile Turn, for that. And Knife Center, specify your listings better because that was frustrating. Now, um, there is one drawback that I've personally found with the Tactile Turn, though, compared to the Bastion. And it's right here. So when it's carrying in your pocket, when the pens are carrying in your pocket, you have a little more of the Bastion sticking out, which is just a pen I don't really care. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. Um, but look how much more pen is in the bottom of your pocket. A significant difference because it's already longer, plus the pen makes it sit lower for a deeper carry. So you have a lot more pen at the bottom of your pocket. I found over time, as I was getting it out of my car, bending around, moving up and down, this, that, and the other, that the pen slowly... It, let's say my thumb is the pocket for both pens. Slowly my pen, my tactile turn pen wiggled up and up and up. And by after, you know, a couple hours into my day of walking around and moving, the tactile turn had started to slide out of my pocket. Um, and I think that was just simply due to the length. Now, it never fell out of my pocket. And I, to be honest, it didn't come very close, but it was still a little annoying to have it start to come out of my pocket. And then I, you know, and at that point, it'd be a little easier for it to, for it to get knocked out of your pocket. So um, that was not the case with the Bastion. The Bastion stayed well seated in my pocket all the way down. Uh, the hem, you know, the, the 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 pen was all the way down in my pocket, and it never once started to crawl up or anything. So um, it it was a little more secure in my pocket um, compared to the tactile turn. So definitely worth noting. Um, in terms of aesthetics, this is where there's a real big difference, and it, it comes down to pure personal preference, and to be honest, I still have both of these, and I'm reviewing both of these because I really do like the aesthetics of both of these, but my opinion, my take on the aesthetics, the tactile turn, in my opinion, is definitely more of a classier, dressier look. It's more sleek, low profile. Um, it looks fantastic. I don't have any issues with it. Um, I think it's great, and I think there's a reason these sell so well, and I think the aesthetics and design has a lot to do with it. Um, so very nice looking pen from Tactile Turn. If you want that sleek, dressy look, it's a pretty good option to go with. Now, the Bastion. To me, the Bastion is a mashup of kind of just that plain Jane, simple setup, but also just a little touch of tactical. I get a little tactical in this with the back being rounded. You know, you could always use it as, you know, a, a something else. But I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. And 
in all honesty, I think it suits my day-to-day -day a little more. I, I, I'm not a suit and tie guy. Um, you know, I have work boots and a collared shirt and jeans or khakis on my day to day. So, um, you know, it, it fits my day to day better. And I really did come to enjoy this. I like that classy version cause there's a time and place for it. But for the most part, I did find myself grabbing this bastion a little more. And I also just, I like the way it holds up. It just, it, yeah, it, it feels like a handful of, uh, just a very fine quality pen. Um, but again, so does the tactile turn. It, it, it that's the, that's up in the similarities, but the difference is definitely in the aesthetics. Um, I really do like both. I don't necessarily prefer one or the other, but the Bastion does suit my day to day a little better. Um, the action, the action on these bolt actions are very different, but both very good. Uh, the tactile turn, it, it almost sounds like air powered, like it's hooked up to an air gun because you, you close it or when you, you open it and then when you go to close it, you just push down and it just, it shoots up. And I think, I honestly think that the action on this bolt action pen on this, on this tactile bolt action is really what made it as popular as it is. It, I think it really was what brought it to the top. And I think it did create a lot of companies to take a look at it and say, you know what, we're gonna do that. I'm not saying Bastion did that. I don't know the exact history of either one of these companies, but I know this was a pretty big start in that craze in terms of when I started to notice a popularity in both action. Um, I think Tactile was um, a pretty big force in that happening. Now, the action on the Bastion is like I said, just as good, but different. It's, 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 it's almost a little more glassy as to where that's more like quick, snappy, hydraulic -y. This feels a little more glassy and a little more, uh, tinky, I guess is <laughs> kind of a weird word, but, um, the bigger, the huge difference in terms of the actual, the, the, uh, the mechanism that you actually use to deploy the pen in and out. Um, look at the difference in terms of, just how much it sits up. It's a very, very big difference um, as to the height um, of that of that piece. And I actually like the Bastion more because I just find it easier for me during my day to day as I'm filling out service work orders, as I'm writing down what I need, anything. It's just a little easier to whip that pen out for me. And since it's totally round and smooth, it just rolls on my thumb very easily, and it's 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 a little more effortless. They're both equally as fidget, though. That's that's an important thing. I mean, I, I you know if you're in the, if you're into the Foley knife world and into the EDC world, you're probably in. You you have those little uh, items you like to fidget with. They're both great fidget pens, but I do find the Bastion to be a little just a hair, and I mean a hair more satisfying. So overall thoughts. Uh, this is where it kind of gets hard. You know, both are excellent writing utensils. That's why I'm not scoring these or battling them and have them go to head head because um, it would be hard to have a clear winner. Um, tactile turn does have a bit more of a premium feel. I think that's mainly because of the milling. And I think, you know, being so much into the folding knife world, you know that more milling is more time and more precision and more everything. So it's nice to have that little touch of... Uh, of a, of a premium add-on to the pen. It's very cool. Um, but Bastion is also, you know, equally as nice. It, it just has a very different feel and very different vibe. Ultimately, it comes down to what you like better. Um, and I can honestly say they're both great pens. I have found myself carrying the Bastion a little more, like I said, just because it fits my day-to-day and I think it suits me better, but I don't plan on letting this tactile turn go either. You know, it's it's a nice pen to carry if I want to, you know, dress a little more snazzy for whatever I do for an event or if I have a, you know, a meeting that I know isn't going to get down and dirty. Maybe I bring the tactile turn, um, but they're both great. They're both great. They're both going to accomplish the task and they're both going to last a very, very, very long time for you. Um so that's what I got for you. I, I hope this did something for you guys. This was a really, this was in all honesty, one of the hardest videos I've ever made um, because obviously pens aren't quite like pocket knives. There's, there's different ways to critique them and different ways to use them. And uh, you know, 
pens don't go dull on you. They don't have different types of steels. They don't have this or that. So I'm actually really happy with both of them. Um, I don't plan on letting either one of them go. If I had to pick one, if I had to just keep one, I would keep the Bastion because it fits my day-to-day -day better. Um, but that's my take on it. That's what I think. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you have either one of these? Have you been looking at either one of these? Um, which one would you take? Let me know. Very excited to hear that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got a 20 minute pen video. There's a first time for everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until the next one, I'm out.